I read where you said after your brother's death, I took my anger out on you. I wish I could take that ish back. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like, like growing up, like I ain't really, we ain't really talk like that neither because I used to be like kind of jealous of like the relationship that him and my daddy had. Mm -hmm. I used to feel like my little brother was the son he wanted and I was, I was the son that he didn't want type shit. Mm. So like when me and my, my daddy relationship faded, it's like me and my relationship with like that whole side of the family faded type shit. But you, like right before he died, we had just started back talking. Okay. So it was like me saying that was like, damn, I regretted all the other, the, all the years that we wasn't talking because I felt like you was like spoiled by my, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like you was his favorite type shit. Like mm -hmm. he ain't really fuck with me. He, right. he wasn't there for me how he was there for you type shit. Right. Like I remember one time, like, um, my daddy had came to visit. This the only time he ever came to visit. And he had to use like, my mama told him like, no, my, my mama, baby, my stepdaddy told my mama like, they ain't got to spend no money on no hotel while they here. They can come stay with us type shit. Yeah. Oh, Y'all barely had enough room for you guys. But shit. West Indians just like that. Yeah, right. Okay. We'll cram in this bitch. Like, <laughs> oh God, we're going to cram in this motherfucker. So, so they came and stayed with us and shit. And he had brought my little brother with him. <coughs> and I remember one day, goddamn, he had then took um, the van. He had took us to City Trends and shit. And goddamn, he only bought my little brother shit. He ain't buy me shit, though, type shit. And then I remember, um, I think my mama and my stepdaddy got to arguing about that because he took too long with the car. Right. And my stepdaddy had to go to work mm -hmm. type shit. So I remember just being like, I remember like being in the store and like I was like picking out shit and he wasn't grabbing my shit that I was picking out, but he was grabbing my little brother shit type shit. And I remember like, like being jealous, like being hurt by that type shit. Right. So goddamn, I ain't never say shit though. Like that, like when, cause I was too young. So it was kind of like a, you know, when you young and you feel some type of way about right. something, but you can't say nothing. So right. it's just like, you just eat it. Right. So I remember we got home. I remember them arguing and shit. And then I remember my stepdaddy telling my daddy like, this ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. You good. Like, like, um, don't worry about nothing. You didn't do nothing wrong. She was supposed to tell y'all what time I had to go to work type shit. Right. And goddamn, I remember my daddy. Um, we we go home. We we at home now. Well, we walk in the house because I think my stepdaddy told my daddy that while we was like in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. So we walk in the apartment. We go in the house. I remember my daddy and my mama talking and shit. Then I remember my daddy called me in the room and he was like, um, he was like, I ain't gonna lie, um, um, I'm homesick type shit. He was like, I think I'm gonna leave early. What? Type shit. And I remember being like, I remember being like hurt by that too type shit. And then he left type shit. And I, I remember that's when I first started like being like, man, fuck this nigga. Like, that's my, that was my first feeling of like, and my brother. Right. That's when I first started being jealous of my brother. Cause I was like, man, you ain't seen me in years. You done brought my brother out here and bought him all type shit. You ain't bought me nothing. Right. Type shit. So I think that's where that like jealousy like came from type shit. But I wish I never did that. Cause with you're my, a child with my brother, but I think I couldn't control. No, you're time. a child. That's like anything. I mean, if you, you got two kids and you buy one constantly, the other child will become resentful of the child that you buy everything for. And the child that you don't get anything, he'll resent both the child and the parent. Yeah. So it's it's a natural reaction, Savage. I mean, that, that was not something that you could consciously like, you know what? It's OK. You know, blah. blah. That's not how that's not how a child minds function. Yeah. But it explains why you have the resentment towards your father and you ended up growing, even though it wasn't your brother's fault, 
but still he was getting gifts and things that you weren't. Yeah. And so you resented him for getting things that you couldn't get. And you resented the father for giving it to him. Mm -hmm. And you, the opportunity in that, you know, you hear people say all the time, Savage, that, you know, make sure you tell someone that you love them. You don't know when it's going to be the last time or you might not get an opportunity. And here we, you see, you sit back and like, man, yeah, oh God. the feelings that I had towards him, what I would give to tell him I love you and I, I appreciate you. And bro. Oh, God. Yeah. The type of father that you are. I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, is that you want to be everything that your father wasn't Facts. to your son, that Facts. your father wasn't to you. Facts. Yeah. But I kind of understand, like, with my daddy, like, I don't, <coughs> like, I had forgave him for all that shit when I was a child. It right. Was more so, like, the reason why we not talking now is because, like, shit that he did like as an adult that mm -hmm. just kind of rubbed me the wrong way right but like i kind of understand like your child in a whole nother country mm -hmm. like, you ain't rich right but it was just like look, time doesn't cost anything though right but it was like other little things mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it was kind of like but now like with my kids i be feeling like i don't be doing all the way my job because of my job right type shit mm -hmm. so i be trying to like balance that out like trying to like it's like you 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 work to re receive to gain all this success and all the good shit but it's like i feel like the best parents in my opinion is parents that don't got it all i feel like broke parents are, are better than rich parents mm -hmm. in my opinion because when you broke, you got way more time type shit. Right. So you there for like a lot of the shit. Like, yeah, gifts and shit matter, but they don't matter at the same time. Sometimes all a kid needs is time. Facts. Your time. Facts. Something that a gift can't replace. Facts. What's the relationship like with your dad? Me and my daddy in like a weird place because he got his side of how he look at it. I got my side of how I look okay. at it. Like, like I, I kind of understand like, okay, if your child moved to another country, it, right. it, it's kind of hard type shit. But from a child point of view, all I can do is go off the emotion that I felt as a child. Like I don't, I can't, I can't tell you how I would feel about it as an adult. Right. Because the, the hurt come from when I was a child. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like it's like me me whooping you as a child and then expecting you to receive the pain as an adult. Like, right. hell no, nah, I don't. I know how it felt when it happened. Right. I know I felt abandoned. That's how I felt. Right. I felt like I used to see like other kids in the neighborhood. Well, not in the neighborhood, but remember the family that I told you that moved with Yes. Us? I had a friend, well, he liked my cousin, basically. Right. Rakim. Mm -hmm. He was in the same predicament. Like he was in another country with his mama was with another man now, a stepdaddy, and his daddy used to come visit him all the time, oh. buy him shit. Mm -hmm. So I used to be kind of jealous of, right. of of what he had going on. Right. And so that's that's where a lot of the disappointment came from with my daddy. But my daddy was a good daddy to my siblings over there. All right. Like my little brother who died, mm -hmm. my little brother got killed. Right. On my daddy's side. Right. They was best friends. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? I got twin little sisters and I got another little brother. They all love my daddy. You see what I'm saying? So I can't just say you know bad daddy. Right. But with me, I feel like you didn't do what you were supposed to do. The relationship that they have with him is not the relationship you have with him. Facts. Right. Because you saw, you said the family that moved with you, mm -hmm. you saw his mom, even though she was in a foreign country and she had ended up having another man, his dad still came over and would see him and buy him things. Yeah. And so did you explain that to your father saying, look, uh, rock him, dad, he, his mom is with someone else and he found it time to come over here and see him and buy him things and spend time with him. Did you convey that to him? Not as a child. Not as a child. Okay. But like my little brother died in 2020. Okay. And like, that was me and my daddy first time talking in like 15, 20 years type shit. Savage. I mean, you, you didn't, 
you didn't reach out? When, like, at like any po- at any time? point in time before that 15 years was up, did you not reach out and try to have a conversation with your father? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Cause like when when I turned 21, I got shot. Okay. And my mama came in the, in the like while I was in the ICU, mm-hmm. she brought the phone. Well, I don't know if I was in ICU. I don't know where I was at, but it was like fresh. It was right after I got to the hospital. Okay. And um, my best friend had just died like in the incident. Mm-hmm. So like, I just remember being like mad. I was more mad than sad. So she tried to hand me the phone. But I remember telling my daddy like, um, cause my mama and her, my like, my sib- four of my siblings got the same daddy. I got my own daddy. And then my little youngest sister got her own daddy. Okay. So my mama was moved out here when she came out here the father of my four younger siblings, mm-hmm. he came like a little later okay. and we all was together. Okay. So when they had broke up, how I took it was like, I, you ain't my daddy. I got to figure my own life out. Like mm-hmm. I can't be up under your roof no more because my mama left. Right. So I left. So I remember communicating like to my daddy, like. Your biological father. Yeah. Like. Like, I'm in the street at this time, but I'm telling him, like, I figure it out. Like, I don't expect you to just be able to just put me up in an apartment and just pay my rent every month. Like, but I'm like, can you contribute like a hundred or two hundred dollars? And I'm gonna figure the rest out. I'm probably like 16, 17 at this time. This like years before I got shot. Okay. I remember communicating to him, like, can you help a little bit? Like, my mama ain't got you on child support. You don't really send no money like that. And it ain't no disrespect, like, cause I, he went in, like, he be taking shit like me telling my story is like trying to down him. Mm-hmm. But this is my truth. This okay. is what I remember. You okay. feel what I'm saying? Right. Like from what I remember, he wasn't really sending no money to my mama. Okay. And my mama wasn't just pressing him for no money cause she had a man. Right. So you see what I'm saying? So I remember communicating that and I remember like it not coming through. So now I gotta go extra harder in the lane that I'm in. Right as a 16, 17 year old, you feel what I'm saying? Cause mm-hmm. I got to fend for myself down there. I got to feed myself. Like I'm staying with friend, a friend, a friend, you feel what I'm saying? Right. So I remember feeling let down by that. On top of all the other times that I was let down when I was young and I wanted shoes or a phone or this or that, a new video game, you feel what I'm saying? So at a certain point, I remember like, I got old enough to where it was like, I own, I don't even care to talk. So that's how that build up came of me not talking right. to him about them mm-hmm. years. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So in 2020, your brother gets, lose his life, right? Yeah. At that point in time, did you think about putting everything else aside and try to reestablish your relationship with the father? I did. And we got on the phone and he started doing some things that rubbed me the wrong way. Like, like just asking me for shit, like too early and like. So at this point in time, you had already become what you become. Yeah. In 2020, I'm 21 Savage. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But I kind of like fell back and then like, you know, like when I do interviews, these questions come up and I just, I'm truthful. So right. I think that might have rubbed him the wrong way. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Type shit. Oh, okay. And you're trying to be everything that your father was to you. Yeah, facts. Do you make a, is it just second nature or you try, or you make a conch or you like, yeah, my dad wouldn't do this, so I'm going to do that. My nah, dad. hell no, nah, I don't do that. It's just second nature. It's just second nature. I don't even think it's like, a, I don't even think of me and my daddy relationship when I think of like my kids. Really? It's just what, what comes natural to me. Do you always want to be a parent? Did you always want to be a father? Yeah, 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 I always wanted to have kids. I feel like, what did you, what did you really do it for if you don't have no kids? Right. Like, what was all of this for? You just gonna die and then what? That's the end of you. Ain't nothing else to go on, like, type shit. Like how I look at like Bronny and shit. Mm-hmm. Or like Kenya Martin Jr. Mm-hmm. Or like Carmelo's son. Mm-hmm. It's like, that's what it's about type right. shit. Like, Oh God. You, you want to, what if your son would say, Dad, you know I want to be a rapper too? 
I'm going to try and find something else. But if that's his passion, <laughs> right? shit, we're going to do it the right way. Right. <laughs> Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.